Welcome back to the UGF fans. Itching for the fight, UGF gets ready to travel to Miami. That's right, we're playing the U in this one, boys. We managed to hold into the top 25 for three weeks in a row, and I ain't complaining. We're getting straightforward responses from the athletic director. Good work in finding a way to beat Virginia, coach. At least it's better than the slander I usually get every week. They may be 3-4, and four, but they've lost to some pretty good teams. Boston College, who's 22nd in the nation. They lost last week to Florida State, who was number 3 in the nation. But they also lost to Toledo, so... This continues our pretty difficult schedule throughout the season. Miami, UCF, North Carolina, Duke, and Georgia still on the schedule. Some pretty intense games ahead but I'm up for the challenge. Last week was the best episode in UGF Panda's history. We won the rivalry game. We got seven recruits to commit, including two four stars, both top 10 in their position ranks. So yeah, it was a good week. Gonna be hard to top this week. We got 16 scholarships left. I plan to use almost all of them. Mike Holt is my new number one guy I'm going after, and it should be no secret why. 85 power moves, 85 finesse moves, 84 block shed, 80 hit power, 84 tackle, like, this guy is going to the NFL, regardless of who he plays for. He'd start immediately for the Pandas, and I want him. We're also in the lead for this insanely good athlete. 89 speed, 91 throw power. He can play both defense, offense, receiver, heck, even running back if he really wanted to. Looks like a very promising player. I'd like to have him on the team. <laughs> this guy's name is Rod Johnson. He's not really that good, but we might have to scout him for the name alone. Yeah, we've had no trouble recruiting folks this season. We are going to be dangerous next year. Oh my lord, they have a 99 offense and a 99 overall team. I'm intimidated. Now this is one funky combination. Regular away jersey, white helmet, white pants, white shoes, and black socks. Look, I'm just trying to work with what I got. I like to mix it up every now and then. Best players injured, 95 overall running back, 95 receiver, and a 95 left guard. Their offense is intense. Right now we're number one in our division, but we got a lot of tough games ahead of us, including this one. It's all about the you, and it's all about the me. Come on, Eddie Foster, break off that. Connor Hoffman's got him. Oh my lord, they have a lot of cheerleaders. This guy's open. Brandon Montgomery there to deflect it. And then he dove for no reason at the end. Oh, oh. Slant routes, missed tackles. Will Smith saving our butts. Across the middle, Eric Tyson. Oh my god. Nearly killed the man. He's testing him. What a throw. Narrowly escaping Eric Tyson and the safety. We've started out slow the past few weeks. I don't want to start slow, especially not in an environment like this. Gonna go draw play, Jeff Warren. No space to run. Oh, they're blitzing hard. We're gonna hit Ronnie Reddick just to bail me out, get anything. Jeff Warren, get that one. He dropped it! Pretty uncharacteristic of Jeff Warren. Now we're gonna have to punt this one away. Delayed handoff. Oh, not your typical tackle, but I'll take it. Harry's taking off. Ah, oh, good. He's a scrambling quarterback, too. My nightmare. Gonna drop this one off short. Ramirez, Jesus Christ, that was a terrible tackle. Eric Tyson runs around the blocks, gets him in the backfield. And off to the white guy. Gets his bell run from Reggie Manning. Hand off around the edge. Connor Hoffman grabs him. Fourth and goal. They're keeping their offense on the field. Can we get another goal line stand this season? We had one against Virginia Tech. What the heck are you doing over this, Sam Ramirez? So now we're down by two touchdowns early. Ooh, UCF and Florida State. That should be an interesting game. Last drive was a dud. We need to lead with Jeff Warren and Jeff Warren only. Yeah, God, we need the blocks though. That was awful. Throw that one. Sanders makes the grab deep downfield. Get through there. Oh my. <laughs> that one looked like it was painful. At the end of the first quarter, we need to change something around. Down by two touchdowns early. Fit that one in there, Daniel Sanders. Hit as he tried to catch it and drops it. We have 18 yards of total offense. They have 134. They're killing us. Get their Montgomery. 
Oh, we needed that interception. He was in the right position too. No one's open. Bring him down, guys. Yes, they might be out of field goal range too. Don't even need to return it. Dude missed it wide right. Pitch that one. Nothing doing. We've been abysmal on offense. Damon Harris moves the chains. Oh, get that one out quick. Damon Harris, wide receiver in the running game. Good thing he's got great hands. Good block from 64. Just push the man to the ground. Taking off with Will Horton. Cutting it back round. Gets the first down with his feet. Screen pass. We have a couple of blocks. Wish that could have gone for a touchdown. Oh no. That dude is huge. Stood no chance against that guy. Run, Will Horton. Run like it's your job. Because it is. We're down by two touchdowns. I say we bring out Dylan Brown. Got to go ballsy if you want to win games in this league. Dylan Brown gets the first down and more. Excellent. We've seen it many times this season. We're not going to stray away from it. Toss play on the goal line. Jeff Warren, touchdown. Been our recipe for victory time and time again this season. New school record for rushing touchdowns in a season goes to Jeff Warren. Got his tight end over the middle. They don't have a lot of time left on the clock, so they're going to burn a timeout. Running back, get there Montgomery. Second timeout gone, they're right at midfield. Over the middle again, dude tried to catch it one-handed. Messed himself up. Oh no, broke off the tackle. Manning missed, how did he miss? He just threw him off like a rag doll. He turned that into a touchdown. The backup running back beast moded us. That makes this game a lot more difficult. Into the half, we've looked not good, to say the least. 21 to seven, but we do get the ball first in the second half to try and come back. Got the block set up. We can't get to the open space though. There we go, Jeff Warren shoves off one, breaks another one. He's starting to get it going. Will Horton got tackled by his ankles. Got to remember these defensive ends are much faster than the Sun Belt ones. Throw it. Intercepted. Rodney Calhoun had to come in the game because apparently Will Horton was hurt. One pass, one interception for the swole man. This has been a worst game of the season so far. Not over yet though. We never quit here at UGF. Screen pass, get there. I got blocked. Come on, Mike. He got blocked too. Reggie Manning saved the touchdown. <sighs> We are out of control. Finally, we've got something to go our way. Negative two yards, thanks to Reggie Manning. Get in the backfield, Will Smith hit him. Missed the tackle. Somebody bring them down. So many missed opportunities on that play. Oh, we keep getting destroyed by these blocks. Their O line is so darn good. Just trying to run. Eric Tyson got blocked, Reggie Manning, we ended up dragging him into the end zone. Had the coverage, just couldn't stop the scrambler. We're down by three touchdowns. Will Horton still on the sidelines, so we got Rodney Calhoun. Hit as he threw it, dang it. Rodney Calhoun not doing so well either. I don't see anybody open. We're gonna just have to throw this one. No options there, he is 0 for 4 on the game. Blocks are amazing. Can't adjust to the other side. They're just running up the score now, 35 to seven. And we were thinking title this season. Boy, we're a long way away from that. We got a good block. Jeff Warren, come on. Can't even outrun the dang kicker. 89 yards of total offense, our worst game in Probably years. Will Horton sprained his foot. He's going to be out for the game. That's depressing. Tipped at the line. Jesus, he hasn't completed a pass yet. 
You're going to blitz at the line. Throw it at the last moment. McDonald drops it. No surprise. 0 for 6. Do I bench him? Do I bring in the freshman? Got to get open and we got to do it quick. Breaks off one. Throws it. That was a pathetic throw. Hand off to the running back. Good job, Mike. Oh, Mike. Got to catch that one. Another time we could have got a turnover and we drop it. Across the middle. He's going to be short of it. If we can bring him down, thank goodness. The old goal is good. Penn State beats Illinois to go 7-0. Illinois is fourth in the country. Screen pass goes for negative yards. Jeff Warren is down. Lose Will Horton. Lose Jeff Warren. What are we going to do? Heading into the fourth quarter, we're down by 31 points. Our quarterback and Heisman candidate running back. Both sidelined at the moment. Running back, come on, do something. Good spin. Marcus Hawley, the freshman. McDonald, there you go, out route. Goes out of bounds, good. Just scramble for the first Calhoun. That'll stop the clock momentarily. Damon Harris downfield. He fumbles it. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong in this game. We finally start to move the ball. And then we freaking fumble it. And a drag route. Touchdown again. They've dropped 40 on the Pandas. Number one defense in the nation is shattered. McDonald made a man miss. Touchdown. Sweet relief. Finally, we do something positive. 14 to 45. It, I mean, it's still very ugly, but at least we're starting to do something good again. I know it's pretty much a lost cause, but we're going to go for the onside. Dude swats it down, and we actually get it. Sweet. That puts a smile on my face, even though this game is long over. Chuck it deep. Sanders. Oh, I thought he was going to get that one. Henderson, Bo Henderson actually caught a pass. This is life changing. Tried to set his feet and he fumbles it. Oh good, nice. And they're gonna return it for a touchdown, aren't they? Good, 50 points. The most we've let up in multiple seasons. Not liking this, not liking this score line right now. And thus ends the biggest blowout in UGF history. Painful one to watch. That guy is really good. Darn you, Phil Swift. Not only do you not commit to UGF, you do that to us. You are now our enemy. We'll see you next season. Well, we haven't been whooped like that since season one. Can't say I miss it either. This game was painful right from the get-go. We couldn't do anything on offense. Three quarterbacks, all of them with terrible, terrible games. Ronnie Calhoun was in for it the most. 9 of 20, 149 yards, one touchdown, one interception. On the ground, Jeff Warren couldn't get anything going either. 13 carries, 44 yards for an average of 3.3 yards a carry. Sam McDonald, 86 receiving yards and one touchdown, the best of any receiver today. Eric Tyson led us in tackles with eight, three of them for loss. We had one sack in the game thanks to our safety, Reggie Manning. Three dropped interceptions today, two for Brandon Montgomery, one for Mike. That was an awful game for us 236 yards of total offense and we let them get almost 400 yards of total offense on us turn the ball over three times but we also were four of 11 on third downs we just could not move the ball and that's why we lost this game holy crap look at that top 10 matchup between georgia and florida ending 65 to 62 in overtime nebraska beat minnesota by one point looks like we should have tuned into those games instead of the pandas this week door slammed ugf suffers a humiliating 52 to 14 loss to miami the recruits and the fans ain't gonna like that one it's not the end of the world go out and win next week's game against ucf oh that's right we get to play ucf we can turn this episode around and make it not a disaster let's see how far jeff warren dropped in the Heisman race. Oh, still at number one. That's actually a surprise. UCF is number 16. Did we drop out? Yes, we dropped out. Oh, 
Yeah, let's go back into recruiting, trying to turn our spirits around. We don't sad boy all the time in this series. Doesn't matter if we lose by 90, we get back on that saddle. Hey, we're in the lead for Mike Holt. Glad to see it. Very, very good recruit. And he's ready to visit, so we're going to schedule that against UCF. That's right, we're going to beat UCF, get these top recruits, and it all is going to be dandy. We're just going to pretend like the Miami game never happened. Not going on the thumbnail, don't want to hear about it. UCF versus UGF, though, that's going to be the game of the season. UCF is number 13. If we win this game, it could put us back in the top 25. Shedrick Muse? Ah, we might have to change that name. That's difficult to say. We know I'm terrible with names. They've got a good offense and all-around great team. We're both 6 and 2. I want to be ranked again, and I want them to be not ranked. So, that's what we're going to do. We're coming off a of bye week 2 for UCF. Ooh, they ain't ready. Even after the bye week, Jeff Warren remains the top of the Heisman watch. Just give it to him now. He's just too good. Ooh, award semi-finalists. Maxwell Award's going to go to the quarterback from LSU. No, no, no. We're going to get it for Jeff Warren. Ooh, best defensive player. Sam Ramirez, Eric Tyson, and Reggie Manning all on the list. Eric Tyson, number one for best linebacker. See, now that we're in the ACC, our guys are getting a lot more respect in these award categories. Oh, we're three wins away from tying the best home win streak in the nation. 23rd toughest place to play in the country right now. I will not rest until it's number one. <laughs> After having like the first ranked points defense in the nation, we're now number 27 after that blowout to Miami. All right, we're never, we're not talking about it anymore. Nope, never happened. What? Miami who? The you who? Like the milk? Chocolate milk? Good. Another big game for recruits. We need three sacks, two tackles for loss, 250 passing yards, and 100 rushing yards. Number one in rushing touchdowns in the nation thanks to Jeff Warren. That's why he's the top of the Heisman race. Intensity. Just random, random words thrown up on the screen. Chocolate milk, emotion. Yeah. Back to usering Brandon Montgomery. I'm gonna get him an interception today. Oh, he threw that way over my head. Tried to bait him, but he baited me. Dropping this one short. Mike's got him. Another option. This one's not going anywhere. Hand off. Defense is there. It took like six of us to bring him down, though. Exactly what we wanted out of your defense. Good job. Boy, I am so glad to have a healthy Will Horton again. Rodney Calhoun's not bad and all, but he's just not going to win any games. First play, Sam McDonald. One-handed catch. All right. Trying to run. Breaks off one Horton. Forced in the punt, but we're going to have to punt it right back to him. Counter play. Had to bring up the safety in the box to make that tackle. He's running. That's going to be a sack for Aaron Hayes. Another sack, Eddie Foster. I had him usered by accident, but I get the sack. I'll take it. Read option. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Whoa. They blew that play up quickly. Sanders drops this one. Man, been a slugfest. The first couple of years, our defense was terrible, but now our defense is what keeps us together. Get there, Montgomery. That was a poopy tackle. Lucky he stepped out of bounds. That could have been a touchdown. We ain't losing to the team that made Blake Bortles. Brandon Montgomery cleaning up. Slants. We need help, and we got it. Sam Ramirez and the Brandon Montgomery combo is too dirty. Can't say I wanted to start this drive this way. That punt went out of bounds at the one-yard line. Good job, Jeff Warren. Read option on third down. We're gonna get the first. Heck yeah. Third and just the length of my wiener, so we're gonna go for it here with Dylan Brown. And he's got the first down. Need that Wildcat. Come on, Jeff Warren, explode. Run. 97 speed and he can't outrun these fools. Let's stay in the Wildcat. Let's hit him with this play action. Nothing's open, so we're just gonna run with it. Jeff Warren takes off. Cuts back. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Imagine if he could play quarterback all the time. Mm, that was a bad angle by me. Fourth down already. Well, I don't want to remain 0-0, so I'm going to take my field goal here. Right down Main Street. Virginia Tech about to lose to Pittsburgh, who we beat by like 60 points. That's not a good look. Quick pass. Todd Mitchell able to adjust. Always oh, scrambling. 
So you Montgomery, not a good sign when your defensive back has to sprint across the field to make a tackle. Now it's going to be an option play. Reggie Manning, way to read it. Back-to-back -back option plays. We run the option all day in practice, so we're prepared for yours. Will Smith, good tackle. Another three and out. R1, Harris. Amazing catch. Wide receivers have been getting it done today. Over the top, Mackey hauls it in. Dangerous pass, but it works out for us. Converting on a third and 14. Deep post and Sanders brings it in. The deep passing game has been open today. Jeff Warren, come on, get there. Touchdown, laying his body on the line to get there. Screen pass, Aaron Hayes, defensive tackle gets thrown off. Mike gets thrown off, but then there's Reggie Manning, bringing him down. Slant route, gets boomed by Reggie Manning, who's been all over this game. Trying to throw it. No, he's going to get sacked. Third one of the day for the Pandas. And they're going to have to go in the hurry up because they only got one timeout left. Can't even get the pass off third and 13. D-line is cooking them. That's all Montgomery. Nope, dude just drops it himself. I thought I was going to get the interception, but all right. Triple option for all the gigs. The stutter step. Oh, he's still on his feet. That's a Heisman moment if I've ever seen it. Jeff Warren toying with him. No time left on the clock. As we're about to go into the locker room, Jeff Warren shocks the crowd. Something tells me we're going to be seeing that highlight a lot. Out of bounds. No one was open. We've held this quarterback to 35 passing yards. Taken off again. Reggie Manning is ready for him. Gonna drop it off to the running back and he gets boomed. We're talking a sonic boom. Jeff Warren streaking. OP strats, five wide receivers. X just got it off in time. Ronnie Reddick, one of the best stories on this team. Run, run Horton. Oh. Gets bodied a yard short of the end zone. Just one yard away from it. I want to put this game away. Dylan Brown hasn't had a touchdown in ages. Let's try and get it for him here. He is stuck short of it. Zero yards on that one. Crowd is stunned. <laughs> Run up the middle. Surprised that didn't go for more. Really wanted that safety. Oh no, oh no. Running back starting to wake up. I don't like it. Option, that was a bad read by that quarterback. He just lost six yards for his team. It's another screen. They got two blockers out there. Just ran around him. Eric Tyson shuts this kid down. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I was offside, so I just said, screw it. Let's go for the punter. Completely glitched the game. Later. He's going to Montgomery, that one's mine. First turnover of the game. Been waiting on him to mess up like that. And we got him. Good block, good recovery. Surprised it wasn't a block in the back, but I'll take the first down. Set and throw, got Warren downfield, breaks that one off. Can we get a good cut? Closing in on 100 receiving yards, just needs five more. Time to run. This is a Will Horton touchdown easily. Finally got some open space for him. It's been a couple weeks without a Will Horton rushing touchdown. Run up the middle, Eric Tyson. Brandon Montgomery team up to bring him down behind the line. We have a legitimate chance at shutting him out this game. That point of the game where they're going to go for it, though. Will they run it? Connor Hoffman. Marcus Kendrick. Dude, 
Could not get him behind the line. He gets the first down barely. Who drops the pass? Another third down, man. They're shooting themselves in the foot every single time. Going screen pass, Eric Tyson. Save it. Gets there in time. You better believe he's going to be playing on Sundays with that kind of closing speed. Going to keep it with the quarterback. Stumbles, falls down. Turnover on downs. The shutout is still alive. Eric Tyson didn't get the tackle there, but he moved the O lineman in the way to knock him down. Running for it. Will Horton dodging around it. Move to the left of that one. He's starting to get his running game going. We need 39 more passing yards to get 250 on the game for that recruit. Got Ronnie Raddick and he drops it back to his freshman self. Tavares Lyles streaking to the end zone for his first career touchdown. 31 to zero. One more stop and we got the shutout. Oh, it's a screen pass, he threw that immediately. Get there Montgomery. Trying to shut them out. No field goals, nothing. That shouldn't have been greedy. Shut out over everything else. Over the middle, Eric Tyson. Get him. They're in field goal range now, but they're burning timeouts. We can stop him. Guy has a good completion percentage, but he doesn't even have 100 yards passing. They're going to stay on the ground. This one's an option play. No. Shutout is canceled. Doo doo. <laughs> Well, at least we have a chance to get those extra passing yards for our recruit. We were going to win this game anyway. But the shutout, man. Someone's yelling at me in the comments right now. We're yelling about how bad we should have beat another team, though. It's fine, dudes. We'll be fine. Throwing this one deep. Sanders does it in one pass. Pass for 250 yards. I'm satisfied. If only we could have got the shutout, though. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Just kneel it, get our 10 XP, and call it a day. Good team win, boys. Great team win. Set out on a goal to win, beat a ranked opponent to get us back into the top 25, and that's exactly what we did. Accomplished all our goals for our recruits. Continue with the winning streak at home. Definitely turn this episode around for the better. Super close to upgrading Tony Romo, but I bet after we get like recruits and stuff, it'll go up. Stats on the day. Will Horton was great. 256 passing yards, one touchdown. Jeff Warren doing what he does. 168 rushing yards, two TDs. Will Horton got a little bit going there at the end. 24 rushing yards and one touchdown. Receiving was led by Jeff Warren today, something he doesn't usually do. Damon Harris a quiet 20 yards in this game. Tavares Lyles though getting his first receiving touchdown in his career. Brandon Montgomery, eight tackles, two for loss, one interception on the game, thanks to my usury. Mm-hmm. Two sacks for Eddie Foster, one for Aaron Hayes, and one for Reggie Manning. 461 yards of total offense. Good day at the office, I'd say. 16 minutes of time in possession. Always glad to see us winning that battle. It was just a good game. I mean, I wish it was closer to be more entertaining, but that was still fun for me. Let's go. Tony Romo is now level 19. Just needed those re extra recruit points. We got that wide receiver. We got Mike Holt. We got Ulysses Jackson. Oh, this is a great episode then. Screw the Yoohoo game. This is excellent. We're like, we're going to have the best recruiting class in the nation if we keep this up. Time to upgrade Tony Romo. And it's that point of the season. We're closing in on the offseason, so I guess we got to go for the letter of intent one. How close are we to unlocking that insta commit, though? Upgrade at least 20 ranks. So we just need two more, and then we can add a point into insta commit, which is my favorite one of anything on this game. So yes, I'm very excited. No surprise, Jeff Warren is still the front runner for the Heisman. No complaints though, I'd love to get him the Heisman. Now we have the 22nd toughest place to play in the nation. Better than nothing. But we do have the best win streak in the country. High fives all around. Season's not over yet though, we gotta keep it going. Keep the Adama Dome alive. Was that victory enough to get us ranked? Yes, we did. We're number 21 in the country. Arizona is now number one in the nation. Nebraska dropped to number two. Florida State's number three. Oh my, they are insanely good. 99s across the board. Not quite the top class in the nation, but we're getting there. Number five right now, which would be our best in school history by far, actually. We've got three four-star recruits and the rest are three stars. It's pretty dang impressive. We got 2,200 points to spend too. Might as well max it out on the recruits we already have. Got the fifth best defensive end in the country with Mike Holtz. I mean, look how good this guy's gonna be. He's gonna be a terror for quarterbacks. Pretty good receiver or running back with Cedric Muse. A solid blocker and Ulysses Jackson. 
Big, big week in recruiting for the Pandas. Well, besides the Yoohoo game, there was a ton of content in this episode. Hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it. Especially you fans who stayed through past the Yoohoo game. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. I've ever had the opportunity to play with you. Getting the blocks, how is he not into the end zone? My goodness. Hits play to Jeff Warren trying to get that touchdown. Great to the end zone. Another one.